yeah. My favorite girl wanna leave me just because I got a girlfriend. My freak girl told me now she a Christian. I'm looking at it and it looks so easy, but we're gonna walk it through. There's no doubt about it. COVID is a terrible virus, but with the pandemic, um, came a few changes for the positive and folks getting in touch with their green thumb is one of them. Hey, Empresita. Now, whether to pass time or sustaining your herb and veggie garden, we're seeing a lot more people unearthing their nurturing side. Well, the plant daddy himself, Andrew Walcott, is on the line, and he's going to tell us how to propagate vines. Good morning, Andrew. How are you doing? Good morning, Delia. I'm good. Thanks for having me. So, for, you know, I was talking about COVID and the fact that a lot of things have come out of it. Talk to me about Plant Daddy <laughs> and how this came out of COVID. Well, so my, I always was into plants from the past four years. Ever since I moved out of my parents' house, I've been collecting and, and taking care of plants. I'm by no means a professional and a lot of this is learning. So I've been able to really grow an appreciation for what goes behind it. And so... I've collected quite a bit of plants, as you can see behind me. Yeah. Um, I love taking care of them. And I found a group of people online who also really enjoy plants, so it's been fun. So tell me about Wally's garden. Um, why did you decide so, to Yeah. Well, Wally's garden is really an online space where I'm able to share my plants with everyone who is interested and loves plants. I also do um, a lot of propagating. I show people some do-it-yourself projects. Um, these plant holders behind me was actually a, a, a project that we did. So you can actually go on the page at Wallace Garden and watch us making these different things and going on adventures and just sharing our love for plants. Wally, using the big word, propagate. So for the people who are watching who have no clue what that means, Andrew, what does propagate mean? So, you know, you can grow a plant from a seed. Propagating is growing it from a cutting. And so you can cut the plants at certain areas and basically let it grow roots and then become another plant. And wow. that's one thing that I love doing. You know, you can buy a plant, but you can save some money and also just go through the whole process with propagation. And it's a very interesting, very satisfying process. All right, let's talk a little bit about that because I think... You have to know exactly where on the plant to cut to make sure okay. that, you know, just go chop a piece off of the plant and hope that it grows, right? Exactly. That's the most important part, exactly where to cut. And not all plants are the same. Some of them you actually have to dig up from the root. But luckily, um, in Jamaica, there are a lot of these plants. It's a golden pothos. Mm -hmm. And it's one of my favorite plants. And I can show you exactly where to cut right now. So... The temptation is to just pick off the leaf like you're picking a flower. Mm -hmm. That's not going to work. You have to look for what we call a bud, which is this little root here. And you want to cut right there where the bud is. So you keep a little bit of stem on the vine. And that will allow it to then grow. And so what you do, you put these in, well, you can cut every single one of these leaves because most of them have buds. Just keep going. And when you're done, take some water. I use distilled water. With tap water, I just leave it out for overnight. Make sure it covers the stem. And that's basically it. You can change the water every two to three days. And in about a couple weeks, you should be able to see some roots growing on that. And once they're rooted, and I have some examples of that as well. You can then move it into the soil. So this is a this is not the same plant. It's another one, a arrowhead vine, and it's also one of my favorite plants. And you can see this happened. Wow! So this is a new root that grew in the water over the past three weeks. And once it's like that, you can easily just stick it in the soil, and it will start to grow. Wow! <laughs> You said leave the water, leave the water overnight. Is that to get some of the chlorine out of it? Why would you do right. that? Right, so that's exactly why. Um, tap water has a lot of chemicals in it, and usually leaving it out will allow some of the chemicals to evaporate into the air. Mm -hmm. What's even better if you can get is some rainwater. 
So, you know, it's been raining a lot now, so I have my stuff, uh, my buckets outside catching some of that water. Mm. Um, and that's perfect for the plants. Oh, cool. All right, and then you put it, you can put it in the pot before you put it in the, in the, in the ground, eh? Well, yeah, I mean, so most of my plants, I like them in the house, so they usually just go into a pot like this. So you, you base it with some of the soil, and you can, when you're doing vines, you really want to bunch them up. So you want at least a couple of vines in one pot to give it that big, lush, you know, look and feel. So right now I have about four or five different plants. This is a small pot. And then what you want to do is to just put some more soil on top of the roots. So it covers it, you can put a little bit more in there. And then as soon as you do that, just water it and that will allow it to set mm. and what will happen with this particular vine is that it will start to grow new leaves out of these leaves the sides you'll see them coming up and then after a while it would actually produce new shooters so new plants coming out of the soil and it gets big and lush and beautiful <laughs> wonderful you make it look easy andrew but uh, I'm gonna try. So, a lot easier than you might think. <laughs> <laughs> What's the feedback been on the page? Oh man, the feedback has been overwhelming. Uh, people love the plants. They love watching the process. And what I find is a lot of people are out there who actually do really love plants. <laughs> you know, yeah. I mean, no figure, but and so it really is. So they have special kinds of plants. Right behind me, right here, is a fiddle leaf fig. This is a having a massive glow up on the internet. So a lot of people are asking questions about it. It's one of the more delicate, um, finicky kind of plants. It requires a lot of care. So they want to know how much times you water it, how much sun, where, where it is. You know, those kinds of questions come in a lot about different kinds of plants. Wow, so again, you say it's at Wally's Garden, that's your page? That's correct, at Wally's Garden. And today we're actually going to be doing a giveaway. So once you follow, you may have a chance to win one of these new propagation holders. Wow, that's awesome. <laughs> so proud of you, Andrew. I'm so glad. I, I mean, and I'm sure this, doing what you love must, what, what do you, I mean, people sometimes say, you know, I love plants. They bring me such peace. They bring me, what What do plants do for you? Why do you love them so much? Um, As I said, it's very satisfying to watch them grow. It definitely allows me, I'm a very tactile person. I love to be up and about, you know, I'm, I'm not one of the people who sit on and watch TV all day. So whilst I was in the house, it gave me something extra to do. And watching them grow and watching them in the space because there's, they give your house or wherever you are as a sense of life and nature, which I love. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it does many things for me and, and I just love having them around. Thank you. Um, I'm just probably going to come to your house and take some. <laughs> That's fine, too. I have so many. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for speaking with us. The Plant Daddy, Andrew you, Walcott. Please go check him out online. Speaking of green thumbs, we're going to the break with Tree Song by Evie Carlson. <laughs> Strong young tree. 